Yeah, this looks a little bit screwed. Hi, Mandra Armstrong, and welcome to the back of his teardown lab. We're going to have a look here at something simple. This is an AC adapter, and it's apparently a duff one. And the reason it's duff is because apparently it was plugged in. It was one that came with a USB hub. And it sort of blew up the USB hub and took out the breaker on the house. So there's something wrong with it. And I'm not going to plug it into my house because I really don't want to, to deal with all the uh, fallout from all of the various bits that will be knocked off. But, you know, they'll be knocked off by the RCD. But, you know, sometimes those things don't bounce back. Is there a hidden screw in here? No. So it's a 5 volts, 110, 240, the usual thing. Hmm. No fuse, but we never expect fuses inside these things. Ah, okay. So I do... Hmm, it's got that smell. That lovely smell of burnt electronics. So the input side seems okay, there's no harm there, but look at this side, it's on the actual output end and it does look very charred around this diode and there may well be a little bit of weird funk going on with that coil, so I probably could plug this in, you know, yeah, hmm. Let's get a multimeter on this bit though, see if there's uh, something weird, like we've got a short or anything interesting to observe so whoa we do we've actually got a dead short you can hear the meter between the uh, outputs there so I'm wondering if it, because it was a cheap and nasty USB hub it may well be that this has sort of died for whatever reason. It's, it's caused this thing to short. Maybe the transformer's got a short in it. And when you plug, when this, because this was plugged into the hub, it might have been shorting out the PC's USB power. Because they might not have any protection diodes or anything like that. So plop that in and it would have killed it. So I'll just show you again. You know, we've done this before in the past where we've dismantled something like this, which I'm going to chuck in the bin. And you end up with this. So this is clearly, could be useful actually if you want to make something with the mains. Um, in fact, I do I do kind of half like the idea of keeping this because I've got a project over here, for example, that uses mains. I could just solder these, the wire straight in and then plug that in, but it's kind of dangerous. So if you do projects with these, just make sure you at least take off the earth pin so nobody can just accidentally plug that out. And if you really want to be thorough, just remove all of the contacts. And it's CF money. So, possibly some salvageable caps off this and maybe a diode. Hmm, if it's worth your while. Not worth mine though, it's going in the bin. Please feel free to like or comment down below. And as ever, thank you for watching.